With the help of prompt travel technique and animate diff, we are going to create this AI animations in this video. To begin our process, I have the inspiration to use a character from Mortal Kombat, which is Sub-Zero as our main subject. I'll go ahead to save this image here. I'll drag a copy of this image into uh, my mid journey. Mid journey is going to give us a description here and how we can achieve that is to put in the command forward slash describe. Once this comes up, we just need to drag and drop the picture we save into the section here and we hit enter. We just wait for Mid Journey to provide us with a description. I'll go back to Stable Diffusion. And I'm going to use the tab here called Next Diffusion. And I'll demonstrate how this works quickly. We are just going to choose the category here to anything we want, which will be fantasy. Um, our lightning will be dramatic lightning. We choose that one here. The style, uh, we'll go for vector art. For the lens, we we'll leave at random. We click generate, send this to text to image. This fills up the entire section for us with a positive prompt as well as a negative prompt. From here, we go back to mid journey. I will only copy the features I want to use in my prompt in stable diffusion. A ninja dressed in a white jacket standing in cold weather. I'll come back to stable diffusion here and I'll paste this in the beginning of our generated prompt descriptions uh, with a space here. The next thing I want to copy is this line here, which is cold and detached atmosphere. I like this. Uh, come back to stable diffusion. I'll put this uh, somewhere after fantasy. I'm going to space out. I'll paste this here. And I would also like to add another description, which is freezing. To have a preview of this, we will be using the checkpoint Hello Young 25D. Once you have this downloaded, you can always save it into your stable diffusion models folder directory. You refresh your checkpoint and you are going to find it in your list here. I'll rename this sub zero. Also, I'm going to put in here Mortal Kombat. These are a few things I want to include. We change this to Eurola A, we push this to 30 steps. And I uh, will change this from 512 to 768 to see a preview of what this is going to look like. This is not so much of Sub-Zero. I'm going to highlight this. I'll hold Ctrl and Up uh, just to increase the weight to 1.3. I'll also do the same with Mortal Kombat. Cold weather, I'll do the same 1.3. Also highlight freezing, I'll put it to 1.1. Cold and detached atmosphere, we can also put focus on that. Here, let's see what we get. We can also add a LoRa here, which I'm going to include. I'm going to cut this here and I'll paste this right after our main prompt uh, before the descriptions. I'll put this here. Let's hit generate to see what we get. Once we have all of this ready and we are happy with our prompts, first we need to install the extensions for animate diff and prompt travel. We come to extensions, we go to the available tab. Under available, we click load from. And the load from we can search here and i'm going to untick this this i'm going to search for prompt travel once you search prompt travel it should be in the listed options here to click install and you guys can see i already have it installed but we'll wait for a few minutes you come back to installed and you should see it down here in your listed extensions you apply and restart the next thing we can also do quickly is to install the extensions for animate div which would also be the same process. Under the available, you load from. Once you load from, you also search animate div. You should also see it here, which I already have it installed. Click install as well. Uh, you come back here and you should see it down here, animate div in your listed options. You also apply and restart. Close the entire terminal and um, restart stable diffusion once again. For an in-depth explanation of how Animate Diff works, you guys can also check the previous tutorial, which I'll also provide a link in the description and also in the top right corner. Back to text to image, you'll find prompt travel in the script drop down if installed correctly. And also Animate Diff will be down below in the tabs. From the master prompts, we can put in the actions we want to see in the prompt section. Mine will be in 8 frames intervals and I'll want this to be at 12 frames per second. 
At zero, I want the character to be fighting. At eight frames, I want him to be running. And at 16 frames, throwing a fireball, we'll see how that turns out. Uh, we need to come down to animate diff. We change this model to 14. It always works best for me, but you guys can always experiment with any other motion models down here. Um, enable animate diff before everything is going to work. So you check this box here and at these frames, we are going to put the frames to 32, which is very brief, just a quick one. Our changes to 12 frames we also need to make sure prompt travel is working. You don't need to enable this to work. Once you find it in the script, it's perfect. And it's just going to recognize this by default, also working with Animate Dev. And I'm just going to click Generate for us to see what we get. From the thumbnail preview here, we can already have an idea of what's going to happen. We see him standing here, he starts running. And also now we see the fireball coming into effect, which is giving us a, a rough preview for now. And we'll just wait to see how this ends up. All right, so this is completed and I'm already liking this. Um, we can see the actions in different frames like we have prompted here. We don't really see the fighting, but uh, I think maybe it needs more time for that. What we can also do is to add weight to the actions. I'll select and highlight fighting. Control up to push this to 1.3. And also running, we we'll push this to 1.3 as well. And also fireball, we we'll push this to 1.3. So let's see what we get from here. I'll hit generate. All right, so this is the results we get from the weights. We can also use the image to image to run a prompt travel just by putting a picture in here. What you can do is to add your negative prompt as well. Change this back to the right settings. I'll put this at 30. So once I click here, you guys see everything changed to the normal size of the picture. And down here, we can play around with the denoising strength. That's the advantage we have in image to image and uh, you don't want to push this too high you also don't want to push this too low so i'll just leave this at default we have the prompt travel showing here so that's fine um, animate div we just put in the settings from here we select my favorite which is 14. gif selected we put this at 32 and now uh, we change this to 12 frames Don't forget to enable animate diff and once this is checked, we just hit generate. There we go and we can have this as well from image to image as you guys can see here in the same way. So prompt traveling is a very powerful technique and it allows you to put in the actions you want to see uh, compared to animate diff. An animate dip was entirely explained in the video on the screen now. As always, you guys can always let me know your thoughts in the comments. And also, you can give this video a like if this was helpful in any way. And I'll see you guys in the next one.